Hey guys, this is Dan Lucas with the Roanoke Mountain Adventures, coming to you from Roanoke, Virginia, the mountain bike capital of the East. And I'm just going to do a quick um, what I carry in my pack on just a short two hour or less ride. Um, some important things that I take with me and that I think you should take with you. So let's get this out of the way and get started. First thing is um, I'm going to start with a good pack. Not all my rides I take a pack. Um, this is a Decon Nomad. I like it because there's a lot of storage pockets, um, places for everything, even down to like electronics um, and things like that. It's a hydration pack. I like it. I've had it for many years. It's been on many adventures. Uh, so start with that as a good base. Um, I don't always take it. Sometimes for hydration, I rely on a uh, water bottle. Uh, this one slips in the back of my jersey or uh, one that mounts on a uh, bike as well. Next, always bring flat repair stuff. Uh, different people have different preferences. I carry a 27.5 tube all the time. It stretches to a 29er, it stuffs in a 26, um, so it works with everything. A good pump, um, I have a Lazan drive right here, it's excellent. You can stand on this little piece right here um, and pump a tire up pretty quickly. And then last, um, I always bring, especially if I'm out with groups and stuff, a couple of these Park Tool kits. Um, and they have um, yeah just about everything you need in there to repair uh, pretty sizable tears. So we'll move on. Uh, a couple going along with the repairs. I have a baggie full of stuff. It's miscellaneous. Um, I always have this in my pack just in case. It has everything from cleats to a whistle, uh, handlebar pieces, brake, um, spacers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, things like this are important. You never know when you're out there. You can break something, but you can get yourself back off the trail if you have a little bolt or something. It's a little bit of weight, but it's uh, good insurance. Next, zip ties are an absolute must for me. Uh, I've broken a lot of things on the trail. Um, had <coughs> friends break things on the trails, and zip ties can get you back home um, without, uh, without calling, calling in help. So they're great. I always take a bundle with me. Food is important. Uh, I recommend any sort of cliff product is really good. I really like the energy chews. These are kind of things that we take on our trips with uh, groups, um, kids, and um, just any sort, of, uh, any sort of guided trip that we have. We keep these things in, uh, available for our clients to use. Um, quick energy, uh, some sugar, some salt, stuff like that are going to get you um, some fast energy so you don't bonk while you're out there. Next, um, with tools. I keep uh, a couple tools with me. I don't always carry this one. Um, this is the one that I, I have with me all the time. It has pretty much everything on there I need down to even like spoke wrenches. So it's probably a little overkill. Um, but it is a, a good tool to use and to have with you, um, you know, just in case you need to do some minor repair, break a chain, stuff like that. Um, I try to carry a knife. Um, this one just happens to live in my pack right now. It's heavy, but I have used this to fix multiple things. Um, chain issues, um, just broken pieces, digging something out of somewhere, it, you know, you never know. It's a good one to have. Uh, this is just a Gerber something or other. They're not sponsoring this video. Uh, duct tape is super important. I carry a roll with me all the time. I've fixed seats. I've fixed um, uh, derailers that are broken. I've uh, just made a big wad of it and jammed it somewhere to keep something from moving around. It works and uh, it's easy, it's cheap, you can make a little roll like this in no time, just wrap it around a little piece of plastic like this is probably wrapped around a little uh, plastic straw or like a bit of a coat hanger is broken or something like that. They work great, um, just wrap it up, take it with you, excellent insurance. For you full suspension guys, I take a shock pump with me, I've had blowouts before, um, something with the shock, uh, RP2s or 3s, not. Um, sealing right or unscrewing. I've had that happen on bikes before. I take this if I'm if I'm riding with people. Not all the time, but you know, for the most part, two hour rides, it's good to have with you. And then one of the most important things is keeping um, you know taking good care of your eyes. I always carry a pair of glasses or goggles or something, um, especially if it's wet out. Um, I have no hair on my head, so um, water or sweat slides down into my eyes, and it's super annoying. Um, having a pair of these uh, helps out uh, sometimes with a little sweat blocker thing on top. So anyway, uh, that is what I carry in my quick two-hour or less ride. 
package. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, this is Dan with Renwick Mountain Adventures. Um, if you uh, have any questions or comments, leave them below in, in the comment section. If you like the video, give me a great a mountain biker dirty thumbs up on the uh, thumbs up bar underneath. And um, if you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're happy to talk to you and uh, tell you about the awesome trails in the area.